Greetings, Woodburn. Here are some updates for this week. We have met with our nonprofit leaders, and they have identified our community's greatest need now as food security, and encouraging people to donate and volunteer at the Aware Food Bank. Our community emergency response team, the CERT team, will be deployed next week to deliver food boxes to those in need. The Emanuel Lutheran Church resumed community dinners, grab and go now, every Wednesday evening from 5.30 to 7. Love, Inc. will be taking donations for hygiene products and board games, puzzles, and other family activities we can distribute to families. You can reach them at their website below or by giving them a call. Woodburn Proud is setting in motion ways to honor our healthcare and other community heroes. If you would like to donate to lawn signs, cloth protective masks, and lunch deliveries to those in the front lines, you can do so on the Woodburn Proud Facebook page. And most inspiring to me was that I was able to meet with 20 of our church leaders across faith traditions who are supporting each other and coordinating how they're helping their congregations. And they filmed a message of unity for our community that you will be able to see Easter morning. Lastly, I want to say thank you and show appreciation to our city staff and our leadership who continue to keep the city operating during this difficult time. To the staff working unusual hours to get the job done, to our police officers who continue to serve and protect, and to our directors and managers whose strategic planning and decision making never rests. Thank you. With so many more people at home all day long and economic hardships growing, we know that tensions are also mounting. I've asked State Representative Teresa Alonso Leon to speak to you about that. Thank you, Mayor Swenson. I know that this is a very difficult time for so many of you, so I want to urge you to do everything you can to reduce stress for yourselves and your families. With children at home feeling anxious themselves, it is important time to talk with them about their feelings and reassure them. Creating routines, taking walks with social distancing for exercise, and engaging in family activities that produce positive interactions are all things that you can do. For you, it's a good time to use that phone to stay connected on social media and to make phone calls to family and friends you haven't talked to in a while. It's important to remember that while the number of cases of the virus will rise in the weeks to come, we can limit how many people get the virus by staying home. While Oregon has been very successful in flattening the curve, because all of you are not gathering in groups beyond your immediate families and maintaining social distancing when you need to go out. But if the anxiety seems too much for you or someone you know the Marion County Mental Health Hotline can be reached 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 503-585-4949. If you know someone in an unhealthy relationship or situation, reach out and connect with them. Reach out to your neighbor, friend, or family member, especially if you haven't seen or heard from them. Help them manage social media to connect with others. Encourage them and offer them help and resources. We know that we will make it through this difficult time, and it's important that we do all we can to be kind and positive with all those we're living with in close quarters for the next few months.